It's like rocket fuel for plants. After pausing composting in 2020, Masters engaged CRP Sanitation, an outside contractor located in Cortland Manor, New York, to assist with its composting efforts. Both Masters senior Demi Oni and science teacher Courtney White expressed their support for this valuable opportunity. Masters partnering with someone outside of school really show that they're dedicated to, you know, helping the environment. So I'm really pleased that the school has, um, you know, looked at uh, our initiatives and our interest in sustainability and now putting that interest into action. CRP Sanitation General Manager Anthony Carbone gave TBN a behind-the-scenes look at the composting process. We take our food scraps and tree debris that have already been mixed and we lay them down on top of these perforated pipes. For five minutes every 30 minutes, we force air into the pile to keep the pile aerobic. By keeping it aerobic and keeping the oxygen into the pile, all the bacteria and the funguses can multiply. And by them multiplying, they will break down the wood and the food and the compostable products. We take the temperatures every day. We typically, we're reaching temperatures of 160, 170 degrees. What percent of this comes from a school like Masters? Maybe a quarter of this pile could be fr food scraps that were taken from the Masters School campus. Carbone requested that the Masters community be careful not to include small plastic items such as straws in their compost materials, since they pass through the screen and have to be removed by hand. To screen all the materials that have been thrown in the compost but aren't compostable, how long of a process does that take? It took us seven or eight days to screen 1,600 cubic yards of compost, of, un of unscreened compost, and that gave us 800 cubic yards of finished compost. From over there, there was like a really strong smell of like yep. breaking down food and yep. like I could really smell that. But from here, I have to get like really close to even like smell anything. It's incredible that you like take so much time to make sure that like the product that you're giving to your customers is like really yeah. refined. If you're a landscaper or somebody that's using this compost, you could be sure that if something doesn't grow, it's not the compost's fault. We're just helping it along and, you know, putting the things in the in right places and, and just letting nature do its thing. We really, you know, we watch what we're doing, but we're really not doing much. It's the, the millions of microorganisms that are, that are doing the job here. Mm -hmm. Carbone explained. Food waste is the heaviest part of the waste stream. And if you can do something locally that can manage that waste and turn it into a beneficial product like compost and put that back into the soil, it's a great win for the environment. And White reminded the Masters community. We really have to, as a society, as a community here, and as a power for good, um, we need to change our own individual behaviors and collective behavior to really make a difference. Hannah Skijana and Carol Kiraz, TBN, Cortland Manor, New York.